Philippians 4 verse 8. Philippians 4 verse 8. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. Think about such things. Think about it. Think about such things. Think about this. Think about such things. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Think about it. Think about such things. Think about this. Think about such things. Think about this. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Think about it. Think about such things. Think about this. Philippians 4 verse 8. The garden of the mind we must appreciate. Kids, it is so great to be with you. I heard we've been talking about gardens at Nations Kids, so I got inspired to get a garden. But I need your help for some inspirations. I'm going to show you a few photos of gardens and I want you to choose the best one you think. You ready? This or this? This or this? Last one? This or this? Awesome! Thank you. I think I'm ready to get a garden, but I think I need help on how to look after my garden. Shall we do a recap of what we've been learning about gardens? I heard we've been learning about our minds and they're like beautiful gardens and that we have to look after them. We have to look after our minds to keep them beautiful and healthy. Just like our memory verse says, to keep our minds fixed on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. And this brings us closer to Jesus. We also learned that our minds need to be fed good food and healthy things like Bible verses or Bible stories to keep our minds healthy and beautiful. That's so helpful. But what happens when there's like weeds that grow or like bugs that come to destroy my plants? There are things that come and grow that we don't want and that are not meant to be there. They prevent our gardens to be beautiful and healthy. Do we want them there? No. They make gardens unhealthy and not beautiful. And as an owner of a garden, we have the responsibility and power to keep them healthy and beautiful. And that's by removing them. That's the same with your mind. We actually have the ability to take any thoughts captive and get them in line with Jesus' will. 2 Corinthians 10.5 tells us that we can take every thought captive and make them obedient to Christ. You have the ability to take any thoughts obedient to Jesus. What does that mean? Any thoughts like fear, worry, jealousy, or anger, you have the ability to remove them off your mind. We can speak to every thoughts and speak Bible truths over them. So every time they come or try to come, we capture them and make them obedient to God. Just like the weeds in my garden or bugs, we can remove them and keep the garden of our mind beautiful and healthy. So nation skids, just like I get to pull out the weeds that grow in my garden or any bugs that tries to destroy my plants, you get to remove any bad or unhealthy thoughts. Just in a moment, I have some helpful Bible verses that you can speak over your mind to keep any bad things, bad thoughts away from your mind. But I want to pray with you. And if you could repeat after me, that would be awesome. Dear Jesus, thank you that you have given us power and ability to take every thought captive. And right now, I take every bad thoughts captive and make them obedient to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, thank you, Nation Skids. Why don't you now practice taking those thoughts captives by speaking these memory verses over your mind? Goodbye!